First of all, Janae, I got to say thank you for all having me. It, it has been so much fun to just be here and be present. I don't know how a middle-aged white guy is going to be able to follow Tiffany and Tyler and all of you. You're all you're all just amazing. You're beautiful people, and I mean the Right Way Foundation, Real to Real Better Youth. You're doing some beautiful work, and thank God you. bless you. I mean, amazing. Um, what inspired me is I've, I've been a lawyer for 20 some years, 30 years. Well, we won't say how many years. I've been a lawyer <laughs> for a long ass time. <laughs> and about 15 years ago, I got uh, a call and this lawyer said, hey, I don't know what to do with this case. Do you want to take it? It's about a foster kid who was abused in the system. And I said, well, let me look at it. And and man, you talk about to use you young folks term I was woke it is I didn't know there was so much abuse in the foster care system I didn't know I mean I was raised in Detroit and um in a rough or tough neighborhood a, a bit and I saw a lot of racism and some bad stuff I didn't know how much racism is in the foster care system I didn't know how much physical abuse sexual abuse emotional abuse that is going on I didn't know that that we had such a I, at 40 per, when I heard the statistic about 40% of the kids who age out, how much, you know, how many problems they have, you know, jail and so forth. And then I saw, you know, how kids are like Tiffany hit it on it. You know, their stuff when they're moved from home to home, put in a garbage bag. Like, what's that saying to these kids? What, what's saying? What, what are we saying? And I'm like, this is. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't want to swear. I almost said the word. Well, they all swear with it. Uh, I, you know, this is outrageous. This is just, this is bad. This is bad shit. So my other love has always been writing and acting. And I've written, there's a couple plays. And I wrote a couple screenplays and a, a play. And, you know, and I've always worked on human rights issues. And I started working uh, for legal aid a long time ago. So I took this case and we won. And then I took another case and another case, and I still got cases all over the country. As much as I want to give up law and just do writing, mm -hmm. my heart, I still got to fight for these kids. And, I, and I, I'm getting calls all the time and I want to fight for them. Um, so, but I separated, you know, and then I went to school. I went back for my, for my uh, master of fine arts in uh, screenwriting. And I turned something in and my professor goes, yeah, that's all right. But, where's your passion? I don't see your passion because what, what impassions you? And I said, well, did you know what's, what's occurring in American foster care? What, what, what's going on? And he said, write that. You need to write that. And I did. And then he said, well, I need you to meet somebody. And then I met Peter Samuelson. And eventually I met Shaquille O'Neal, which yes. is, I'm like, highlight of my career. And and we're working on possibly doing a series. And so, I mean, that's what motivated me is these kids and seeing, and, and Tiffany hit it on the head. It's like, you guys, you should run Hollywood because it, it is amazing what you've been through. That is the school of hard knocks. Yeah. And you don't even need to go to, I mean, I think you should all go to college, it's great, but I'll, I'll be the old white guy saying that sort of thing. But the other part of me says, you already, you're learning so much. You've been through so much. And, you know, so I'm committed to trying to improve the foster care system. And so I created this character. And, and the other thing, way before BLM this summer, um, you know, growing up in Detroit, seeing what's going on and knowing that, you know, 80% of the kids in foster care are black or brown. And, you know, it, it isn't right. So, a theme I wanted to do when I wrote this is address race. And I, so I created this character. When you watch this folks, that lawyer is not me, just so you know. <laughs> you know <laughs> Jana, you know what I mean, right? Because, and I, he, so Matthew Modine did this amazing job of this character who is probably, you know, if he's not racist, he's at least racially incensed, doesn't get it, right? He's been thinking about himself all his life. Mm -hmm. And then Jamal played by an amazing young talent. I mean, this kid is, we, we auditioned over 40, 400 people to get Shane Paul McGee. And I put these two dynamite people together 
And then you got the classic, beautiful, amazing Lou Gossett Jr., who I got to be good friends with. And he, and really what you have is the character Jamal teaching, teaching Matthew how to be a human being. Don't you think? I mean, that, that's how I interpret it. And that's how I wrote it. And um, yeah, that's, that's the story. That's, that's where I'm at with it. It's interesting that you say it teaches him how to be a human being because a lot of people are disconnected from humanity, which is why you see a lot of celebrities and stuff volunteering and trying to like, you know, be a part of nonprofit organizations because a part of that kind of helps them connect back to humanity and, and kind of just have a soul again, you know. Um, and so my second question for you would be, watching this film, like I said, I watched it three times and I'm gonna watch it again tonight because that's how great it is. Um, I'm an advocate for um, child welfare reform, and there was still some things that I learned in this film, particularly about how the corporate side of the system is also benefiting just as much as the foster parents. Us as kids only know how the foster parents benefit from a check, but we don't understand how the corporate side of the, of the system is also benefiting from our pain and benefiting from putting us into 23 homes because they're making a check every time they place us. And so why did you feel it was important to highlight that and to really bring that to attention? Because for me, it was like, that was the most important thing I've learned all year about a system that I come from. Janae, it blew me away that I found out that this one of the organizations that I had filed a suit against, okay. um, not for profit. Oh, I'm sorry. And and what happened was, I looked them up. I kept going back and looking them up. Eleven white guys in New York City that were wanting to take this company public. They wanted to take a foster care company public. 26 uh, states still have privatized foster care. I think it's wrong in a prison system. It's awful, you know, and then to add it, to put it in the foster care system, children are not products. Children are not products. And you don't make a money, you, you, you know, I'm all in favor of capitalism, you know, it makes a good car, it makes a good, but children are not products, you know, and, 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 and I was just, I was disgusted by the fact that they're getting these huge multi-million dollar contracts, right? From the states, from Illinois, Florida, all these contracts. And they're giving them to friends, of course, a lot of these politicians. And yet then they're paying these caseworkers who aren't social workers, 12 bucks an hour to handle 30, 40 kids. You know, what kind of system is this, right? This is wrong. So. It's just, I wanted to expose that. That's, that was one of my major things. I wanted to expose that because we need to get private corporations out of the foster care. Yes. It is not a business. These are kids. Yes. Oh, wow. What an amazing soul. What an amazing perspective. What and some amazing work you have done. I'm going to pass it over to Franco so he can wrap up this conversation. And I just want to say congratulations i heard that i hear that you may be in the process of getting um, of adopting the kids yourself and just thank you thank you for stepping up and just being able to offer a kid a, a, a good home you know i, I could just tell from meeting you like your heart your spirit and I'm, I'm just praying that you know i'm grateful that you was willing to step up and so i'm gonna pass it to franco i, I, gotta, tell you. I gotta tell you though <laughs> today is the first full day that he's in our home we've gotten to know him and we've had and he's a foster kid i'm tired I'm going to go to sleep after this. <laughs> Listen, great, folks. Great. Well, thank you. Thank you, Jay Paul.